Hi everyone, it's Dr. Lindner. We are going to take a look at the next topic, which involves quadrants and regions. So there's reference terminology for everything, right? We learned about medial and lateral and superior and inferior and caudal and cephalic, uh, proximal and distal. So now we're going to look at terminology specific to the abdominal region. And we're going to learn this two ways. We're going to learn it as quadrants. Quad means four. One, two, three, four. And then we will refer to regions, which are nine regions. So let's take a look at the quadrants first. Now, when we're looking at the person, I understand that this is your reading left and this is your reading right. But you have to remember anatomical position is everything in relationship to the individual. So this is their right shoulder. This is their left shoulder. So in terms of quadrants, this is the right upper quadrant. This is the right lower quadrant. This is the left upper quadrant. This is the left lower quadrant. Why does this terminology have to be put into your database? Well, in healthcare, especially in nursing, but uh, in, in healthcare all around, you may have an individual that comes into an emergency setting and the intake, they may tell the individual that they have pain right here. Now, you're not going to just point to it and show it, but when you document this, it'll sound something like this. Patient came in describing their pain and discomfort on a scale of one to 10, a 10 in the right lower quadrant. And the patient exhibited this cramped over uh, posture with 103 fever. Hmm, okay, fever, cramped over, pain in the right lower quadrant. Well, what could that be? So you have to have a good understanding of what organs lie in these quadrants. So we have a right upper quadrant and a right lower quadrant. So in this right lower quadrant, well, we have some small intestine, we have some large intestine, but this right here is the vermiform appendix. So if the vermiform appendix gets enlarged or happens to rupture, then they'll become a bacterial infection, increasing fever. Okay. What if the individual had pain on the posterior part of their back, but right around there, but on the posterior, so behind that right scapula. Now that's not a quadrant, but just giving you some information that this gallbladder right here refers pain to this region behind the right shoulder blade. Whenever there's gallbladder issues, it's that right posterior scapula. Okay, so having an understanding of what organs are in these quadrants helps us understand, like if someone was in an automobile accident and they're having pain in that left upper quadrant, knowing that the spleen is there is important and that most of the stomach is there is important. Okay, but now we have regions and we have nine regions. So easiest, let me just change the color from red. Let me just change it to blue. So right here in that center where the belly button is, that's the umbilical region. Right above it is epigastric. Epi means above, gastric means stomach. So epigastric is above the stomach. And if there's an epigastric, there's a hypogastric, means below. Hypo means under, epi means above. So the uh, other term for hypogastric being that it's near the pubic region, it's the pubic region. Okay. Then we have a left inguinal region and a right 
inguinal region. Right here is the inguinal ligaments. So you have a left inguinal and a right inguinal. We have a left lumbar and we have a right lumbar. Sometimes the lumbars are interchangeable with the term flank. So they can be a left flank and a right flank. The only thing left is the left hypochondriac and the right hypochondriac. Chondro means cartilage. Hypo means under. So you have the ribs here. So right under the rib cartilage, you have the right hypochondriac and the left hypochondriac. So uh, on some of the lab quizzes, I've seen it this way where it's a drag and drop. You know, all the possible answers are off to the left. So we have an umbilical region, pubic region, epigastric. Left inguinal, right inguinal. Left hypochondriac right hypochondria, left flank, right flank. And if it's not flank, they call them lumbar, left lumbar and right lumbar. And again, instead of the quadrants, it's like the tic-tac-toe sign, right, or the number sign. And again, it's the same organs. It's just now instead of quadrants, they're using the nine regions. Okay, when we come back, we're going to talk about planes.